Hi everybody, my name is Haley and I am the author of HaleyWithTheFlare.com, which is a travel-oriented blog. If you are new here, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. I'm posting almost weekly different travel ideas, content, blogs, packing tips, you name it. Today we're going to be talking about the five things I loved and hated about The Enchanted Princess. Let's get started. Let's start off with the positives. And I gotta say, there was a lot more positives than even some of the stuff that I'm gonna be naming. But um, let's keep it positive first here. So the first thing that I really loved is the all-inclusive pricing options that Princess has available. So Princess has a few different ways that you can book your cabins. You can either book it with um, no perks, nothing included, or there is Princess Premier and Princess Plus, which include drink packages and different amenities. So I really enjoyed that. We did the Premier. It was really great. You could have cocktails brought to your room. You had the mini bar that was stocked with everything that you wanted. Was a really, really big fan of this. If you've ever cruised with Princess, let me know down in the comments section. If you have additional questions about cruising, princess you can also leave them down there too but we really loved that option and also love it for the clients that we work with second i have to say room service as a whole we'll say just food in general but the room service was incredible so you could order room service from the app which was great and it was fast we never waited more than 40 minutes for room service and when i've been on other lines like royal caribbean celebrity i I've waited almost two hours for room service before. I mean, the first night we had food within like 15, 20 minutes. It was crazy. The only night that we really waited for food was Mykonos night and that was a late port night. So kind of to be expected. Now this next one might sound silly, but I loved the beds and I'm going to kind of fold the cabin um, attendants into this as well. So Princess, unlike some of the other lines right now, are still doing cleanings twice a day. I know some people don't care about them. I personally like them. My family and I tend to come back and nap during the day and just nothing beats getting into freshly clean sheets made bed. It just, it just, it's a thing for me and I love it. And that's why I always tip above and beyond for my room attendants as well. So the beds were so comfy. It's actually one of the, probably the best I've ever slept. I would say it is maybe a close second to the Disney dream when it comes to mattress. And I know a lot of people in the Facebook group for Enchanted Princess were talking about how comfortable these beds were. I mean, I've been on some lines where I feel like I can feel all the lumps and I just don't sleep well. So the bedding was absolutely incredible. Next, and maybe my favorite, because if you've been following me for a while, you know that I really enjoy a thermal spa that is something that I absolutely look for when I'm cruising. If it's possible, I have a lot of reviews on thermal spas. This thermal spa was hands down the best one that I have been in that even includes versus Celebrity, Royal Caribbean. I love that it had a jetted pool in the middle with rain uh, shower. I'll show you some videos here. It's simply incredible. So you can buy a pass for this ahead of the cruise or during the cruise. I highly recommend it. They're one of my favorite relaxation pieces to do on vacation. So this was absolutely awesome. And the last bit of the uh, loves on this series is going to be the app and the princess medallion. So princess expanded their medallion class to all their ships. So instead of using a room card, you get a little medallion. You can either get it on a lanyard, a piece of jewelry. Some people buy the like air tag, uh, air tag clips. I'll include some down below. Those work to just keep on a bag. This made check-in so smooth. This is hands down the quickest check-in, smoothest check-in I've ever done. Now, granted, I will add an asterisk here because when we did our med sailing, some of the people had been on the ship for two, three weeks. They were doing the extended sailing. We were just doing the one week, so there wasn't as many people checking in. But, I mean, we didn't wait in a line. We easily, because we checked in ahead of time, had our medallion set up, just walked through everything. I don't even think we waited for something. Um, that also going into the app, being able to, like I said, do the room service. I thought the app overall was really good. There's some caveats there. But um, huge, huge fan of the medallion uh, app, being able to open your door without fumbling for a key just because you're wearing your medallion because you don't need to stick it there. It was great. 
Um, we were really a huge fan of those. Do you like saving money on travel? Check out my free ultimate travel savings guide down below. It has tips and tricks for ways to save money on flights, cruises, hotels, and excursions, everything you name it. Don't forget to check it out. All right, let's get started with those dislikes, the hates. I hate saying hate, but you know what? It's catchy. So um, first thing that I wasn't a huge fan of was the overall layout of this ship. Now, the ship is beautiful. Like when you see the centrum areas that I'm going to show through this video, it's gorgeous. But there were a lot of weird lower levels where you couldn't pass through all the way. Um, so some of the layouts just felt really wonky and it was really hard for me to I feel like mentally get this ship down because I'd forget which of the lower floors you can't go through on one side. Um, so I thought that was a bit confusing. That was probably one of my biggest things I just didn't like in general. But overall, that's not a deal breaker for me. That's a first world problem. All right, next up, and I think this is just kind of a brand wide comparison because when I think of princess I'm kind of thinking them on the same level as celebrity cruises. So one of the dislikes that you know, was not available for Princess was a really good suite program. Celebrity has a really great suite program through the retreat, even though they've made some changes recently that I'm not the biggest fan of. But having the retreat sun deck, the separate dining room, having a really exclusive suite program, I think is where Princess is lacking. I would have loved to have had that option to upgrade to. But for me, when I looked at what the cost of suites were versus what the value and the amenities included, I was okay staying in a balcony stateroom. So not a huge deal. Like again, I said, first row problem, but just an observing thing um, from somebody that cruises a good amount and also helps people book cruises. Next up, a lot of the bars shut down early on this ship. Now I'm not sure if it's because of the sailing. I'm not gonna lie, I was super tired because it was very poor intensive. We only had one sea day. But my husband that stays out later usually likes to drink a little later. A lot of the bars were shutting down by 11 p.m. So that kind of made the nightlife situation a little eh. But um, again, not a deal breaker. It was also super busy sailing. We were in bed a little earlier ourselves, but just something to note. Next up, I'm going to talk about the activity calendar in the app. Now, overall, in general, love the app. Like I said, I could order cocktails to my room from the app. I could order room service from the app. Um, the medallion check-in process through the app overall, I thought was really great. But the way that the calendar works when looking at events, I wasn't the biggest fan of. It was a little disorganized. I kind of like how Royal Caribbean and Celebrities app calendar works and how you can save activities. The flow of that calendar, I think, is a little easier. But um, overall, the app was still a win, but just the calendar was not my favorite piece. And last but certainly not least, my one of my least favorite things was the size of the balcony. Compared to um, Celebrity, Royal Caribbean, the balconies were definitely shorter, narrower. Um, they still opened up, which is what we did. We had two balconies side by side, which was great. Um, but what was weird is the door did end up covering part of our window with the way that it hooked because the balconies are smaller. So if you're somebody that likes a big, big balcony, you're definitely gonna wanna look at a different stateroom category, maybe one on the aft of the ship. But um, overall, regular balcony rooms, they're definitely a bit smaller. So just some food for thought there. Overall, I loved this Sailing and Princess Cruises. I haven't sailed Princess since I was 16 prior to this. And I will absolutely be doing a lot more Princess. I think it's kind of going to be our go-to when we're not maybe doing like a sweet, bougie kind of sailing or kind of you know, generic, let's go visit some new places, balcony type stateroom. Um, I like the inclusions of being able to do Princess Premier, Princess Plus. I think the value was fantastic. I was more than satisfied of what we paid versus what we got. The food was good. The entertainment was good. The staff on this ship was absolutely incredible. Um, you saw different officers every time you were off the ship in a port thanking you for sailing. Um, Really, really incredible. Um, I think I would tend to lean going more balcony for um, my family. Like I said, I even asked my daughter if she would prefer doing like Royal Caribbean or another princess sailing. And she hands down said princess, she's 13 years old. She did go to the kids program sometimes, but you know, I think sometimes we don't realize that our kids like to veg out a bit too. So she enjoyed being able to order room service on her phone, hang out and draw in the room on the balcony and just have a great time. The, the value was absolutely incredible and it might be 
one of our few preferred lines for now. So if you need help booking a princess cruise or any other cruises, please let us know. Let me know down in the comment section what you think of this ship if you've been on it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.